I wish we had like some Indiana Jones music playing, no. Oh no! Stop dropping the rocks on me. I'm just taking your gold. That's all I'm doing. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Robot Squad Simulator 2017. Straight from the future at you. I'm your bird, the bird man known as Falcon. And if you're enjoying it, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. Right now we have uh, mission number five, accident in the coal mine. There was an accident in the coal mine, the ground slipped in some places. Workers were already evacuated. Check the condition of the mine and make repairs if necessary, okay? So we're not dealing with bombs here today or apparently a, a, a unibomber sniper taking pot shots at us from above. Now we have an actual, I guess, disaster in a coal mine to check out. So it's up to us. There was an accident in the coal mine. The ground slipped in some places. Right? You already told me that, though. Okay, cool. And make repairs if necessary. <laughs> I forgot how sensitive the controller with this game is. Let me just go ahead and lower my sensitivity. That shall do just about fine for us. Alrighty. Check condition of the mine. I'm so glad we're using our little spy dude now. This guy hauls ass, especially with that speed upgrade I gave him. Look at this guy. He's just fucking hauling ass. I kind of want one of these in reality, to be honest with you. And no, an RC car is not the same thing, believe me. This is a lot different. The gate to the main part of the mine is closed. You have to get to the lower lever. To the lower lever and find the control center. Are you telling me like the lower lever, like something you switch to open it up? Or are you telling me like the lower level? Because get to the lower level would make sense. Get to the lower lever, I guess kind of makes sense, but it's kind of like odd wording. Like get to the lower lever? Okay. I, I almost feel like that should be a uh, level. I don't know, that's just me. See, because this is level with negative one, and the other one was le level zero. I have a feeling that's supposed to be le uh, lower level, not lower lever. Lever, lever. Do you guys say lever or lever? I've heard both ways. I honestly use both terms all the time. Like, sometimes I'll say lever, sometimes I'll say lever. It just depends on the mood I'm in, I guess. Whether it's a raunchy mood, a lewd mood, a bored mood. It all depends, really. I'm not sure if I really have a lewd mood or a raunchy mood. <laughs> I mean, I guess you kind of do when you kind of got to take care of business, but still. It's not something that just typically happens. I'm not just hanging out on here in the day just feeling lewd and raunch. Oh! Speaking of lewd and raunchy, we're about to get wet and wild over here, huh? <laughs> okay, that's actually not really good for our drones because um, they'll probably short circuit, so we should probably find a different way. Alright, oh, right. Why am I... You know, here's the thing. I play so many different of these simulator games that I forget the controls all the time. You rotate with Q and E here. Um, while in other games, that's not something that usually happens, so uh, I usually use E to activate stuff. I don't know, it just throws me off sometimes. Okay, here we go. We want to avoid flaming barrels. Never really good for your little drone guy. Um, our light is indeed on, is it? It totally is. Oh, we have more water here. How am I supposed to? Oh, oh, you sneaky bastards, you. Of course, you go down the conveniently placed tunnel as you... Falcon, can you stop being drunk for the job here today? Stop banging up against the wall. Of course, you go through the conveniently... Please, fucking... Can we focus here? You know what it is? It's not even me. Like, the game, like when you're in these tunnels, it just kind of goes into this weird perspective where it gets stuck um, in whatever um, angle you actually walked in there or drove in there. So since I drove in close to the wall, it wouldn't let me actually pull away from the wall. It was like the wall was magnetized for some reason. Um, we have to use our satellite, it does seem. We've done that before. Go ahead and do this, and then we hit space. The gate is open, and you can now get to the main part of the mine. You will shorten the journey if you use the mechanism to pump out the water. If you use the mechanism, what mechanism? You mean the next glowing controller? Okay. Did that... <laughs> did that do what I was hoping it would do? Have I lowered the water? Well, nothing else is shining, so I have to assume that yes, right? Yeah? Yeah, maybe? Okay. Well, we'll give it a try. If the water's still there, it worked. Otherwise, we have to take the long way around, which I'd rather not do, but... Okay, here we can go. That's just Fire Central. Fire Central's no good for us. Is the water gone? Hey! The water is indeed gone. How about that? That is shortcut. Is that where we came from? Yes? Yes, maybe? I think we're good. Because here we turn... The map has disappeared. Oh, there it is. It's literally... I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I... I just wanted to take a look around and see if there was any leftover workers here, you know? 
I'm so fucking lost. <laughs> so fucking lost. Alrighty. So this is done. Now, am I to assume I'm, I'm stuck now? Please. Please don't do this to me right now. Please don't... Okay. This is a problem. You know what I'm wondering, though? This is not the worst thing that could have happened, because now I'm worrying... I'm thinking that we probably can use our claw dude to get me unstuck. I hope. If not, then, you know, hey, I think we just fucking failed the mission by getting onto some train tracks. This is like horseshit. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Let's swap over to my other guy. Okay, hold up. Let's... <laughs> Let's <laughs> see if this works. If this works, then I'm gonna actually be really impressed with this game right now. Uh, let's go into first person if we can. <laughs> How you doing, little buddy? You had a problem, didn't you? Oh my god, I think I can. It extends long enough for it. Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, now. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold up. You can literally fail the mission by getting stuck in the tracks. Yeah, there, there is no grabbing. I don't think I grab him by a little, um, like by something else, but... Can I get you by your little lamp thing? Alrighty, so crisis averted. Turns out you can't get him out with your little hand, dude. But with enough, um, I guess sure will struggle from your part, you could easily make yourself up that little ramp. I don't know how that works out. The ramp looks a lot higher than the train track itself, like part of the train track, but that you could climb the train track itself, you can't get over. So, crisis averted for now, but yeah, I'm gonna avoid those tracks like the plague from now on, because that was scary. I mean, I had to start all over again. I haven't really done too much as yet, but still, it's the thought that counts. You can't get further, find the cart steering system, and unblock the path. Um, the cart steering system, huh? Now, is there a possibility that we can get... Like, it seems like this is blocked and this is blocked, but since little guy is little, he might be able to find a little area to kind of traverse through, perhaps. Perhaps. So let's give it a try. We'll take a little perusal through this side. Like, I think it's blocked, but... Ooh, that looks like a fun little ride. Okay. Oh, here we go! You see what I'm talking about? Little guy can find little places to go through. Yeah, little guy. Good job, little guy. All right. Let's see. So now that should be coming up right up... About. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, I hate these train tracks. Okay, there we go. Careful. Don't get stuck again, little good fella. Alrighty. That's done. Aha. Uh -huh. I see you, you filthy button. So now we go into satellite. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me at this point. Is that close enough? Oh. It just, it, it just forcefully wants me to go over these train tracks because it knows what it's gonna do to me. It wants me to purposely get stuck at this point. Alright, there you go. Let's see. Alright. Good now, right? Satellite. Ah! Woohoo! How you doing there, buddy? Yeah. Alright, you move forward. Oh, now it wants me to use this guy. Get EOD to the old part of the mine. So, EOD... EOD? Yodi, stop freaking out, dude. Look, bring, yeah, bring your arm back up, and then go into that. There you go. So we need to get all that stuff out of the way to get Homeboy in there. All right, see, so it's teamwork. You know, you got small little guy, and apparently got EOD. Now, I I needed to Google this because I haven't watched it in. Oh wait, no, no, I do. Well, you guys are familiar with the movie Short Circuit by any chance? I think it's Short Circuit. Is that the one with the the robot? that has the feelings. It's a robot very similar to this guy right here, and he just goes around. Should I go down this track? I guess so. But um, it's a robot very similar to this guy. It's like an old 80s movie. So I think there was like a couple of them, not just one. But it was like a robot. I think his name, the movie series is Short Circuit, and I forget the name of the guy, not the guy, but the robot. Anyway, I've been trying to make this reference for a very long time through this entire, um, well, not this entire series. I was trying to make the you know, the reference last episode, but I couldn't think of his name. But I now thought about the name of the movie, which is uh, Short Circuit. But if you guys remember the name of um, the robot, let me know. I could Google this myself, and I thought I would do that after the last episode, but I forgot to do it. So more than likely, I'll forget after I record this episode today and look it up. So you guys let me know instead. What is the goddamn name of that robot from Short Circuit? I really want to know. I remember watching that movie as a kid, at least like a couple of them. I'm not sure how many there are. Maybe there's only two. I don't know. 
I used to want him, I used to watch him on rerun all the time as a small kid. That movie, man, that was right in the feels. Right in the feels movie, even though it was a robot. It was like my generation's version of Wally, -E, just not animated, I guess. Anyway, let's um, bring you over to the outside of the mine. Let's also turn on a flashlight. It's a bit spooky in here. And I might need to fix some stuff. What else can I do here? I don't think I need to have my, my little radar right now. I don't think there's any bombs here. We just had like an actual natural disaster, I, I think. Not a terrorist threat, so no bombs should be here. Ooh, this is a rocky place to go through, though. All right. I think I'm here. The OD is here. What's up, guys? Incredible. Slipped ground revealed gold underneath. Grab a sample and transport it to the exit. I thought we were here to fix stuff, not fucking make money. I mean, I that's perfectly fine if you want to make money, but I thought we were here to fix a natural thing that happened. Okay. Well, what do I know, I guess? Let's, um, position ourselves. We keep sliding off, so I gotta find a way where we're not gonna slide off. Is this... Okay. Are you stable? You're stable now. I, I know it's an angle, but still. Alright, let's just try it from the top. I, well, I can't even get to the top. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Fuck. Look at this shit. You know what? Just, just, you, you come along with me, okay? You, sir, are just being a goddamn nuisance. I need to get you away from this little area. There you go. Yeah, yeah, roll down. That's what's up right there. Okay. Now we're in both even playing field, I think. For the most part. <laughs> it was unnecessarily difficult and it had to be. There we go, jeez. Okay. Oh. A little bit further down, huh? Yeah! Okay. Now we bring it up instead. And that'll kinda do him. <laughs> Fuck. The angle of this gold nugget was just the goddamn worst thing imaginable. Like, it would stop my hand from going to the left-hand side, because I guess it would reach its limit. So, the body would essentially start shifting towards the right after a while because of the time. Because of the little, I guess, slow pattern. Ugh. Anyway, that's done now. All this for a gold nugget, huh? Well, you know, people died probably. The tunnel's collapsing! Quickly use the old rails to get out from the old mine. Oh my god! Okay. Old rails it is, huh? <laughs> oh no! All this for some gold! I told you, man, greed is, is man's killer. Okay, we gotta get get your ass in here, dude. What about Spy? What, where is he at? Oh god. Oh god! Don't you drop on me! This is like fool's gold curse, you know? You, you get the gold and now you're gonna die in here. I wish we had like some Indiana Jones music playing, though. Oh no! Stop dropping the rocks on me. I'm just taking your gold. That's all I'm doing. Oh. Oh! Slide down. Slide down? Oh, it doesn't go as fast as I thought it would be. I wanted this to be like an amusement ride type of thing where you're just kind of like flurrying all over the place essentially. Alright. Now, I wonder if it's scripted at all for these rocks to ever fall on you, or if it's just basically just kind of like around you to kind of give you like the sense of danger. Like, I'm kind of curious to see if the rocket actually fall on you now. Let me tell you, this right here takes a while. <laughs> this takes a long time. But it's kind of realistic, I mean, considering all the gaps over here, our robot isn't quite necessarily made for taking um, train tracks down or up, or anywhere really. Okay, seems like we're almost out of here. One little last drop. Raise your arms up. Whee! It's not as exciting. Good job. Now you can get back to base. Oh, and that was it. Well, how about that? That wasn't even the exit game. You robbed me from the exit. Mission 6, training mission 4. Using the drone, flying, grabbing objects, avoiding wind. Oh, we get to get the drone now, guys. We're going to take it up to the skies with Obama. Let's go to the garage really quickly and buy this drone. Let's see here. So, um, security body OD. We already have Spy. Here is the drone. 1500, we have that. We got ourselves a drone. And what do we have to buy for this guy? I always forget what we have to buy for him. The Grasper. The Grasper, correct. Because he's got to be grabbing some stuff, it does seem. So, Grasper, we have that as well. Boom. Back. We're going to wrap it up now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. 
I'm going to check out. I just want to show you guys the mission here and we'll wrap it up. I'm not sure if we'll continue going forward with this anymore. Um, let me know in the comments how you feel about it, though. But right now, it seems like the, the first episode didn't really um, attract too much attention. So I don't think you guys are feeling this too much. So I'll probably be stopping here. But before we do, let's see what our flying dude looks like. Because I'm curious about this. In this mission, you will learn how to use the drone. Pass all obstacles. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And get to the exit. Simple enough. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's a drone, all right. So you raise with that, and then you go right, left. This isn't too bad to control. I like this, actually. And then you go, oh, this is actually pretty good. Okay, now this is actually a lot easier to control than the um, EOD, I would say. Uh-huh. And then he says that as he slams into the wall right here. <laughs> now, what do you mean by avoid the wind? Like, I, I am a bit curious about that now. I want to see a little bit of the wind hazard you talked about here. If we may. Preferably without killing myself. Yeah, so much for being easy to fly. It actually is pretty easy. I'm just being a, a nimkum poop about it. Now, uh, I'm curious. Is there like a front sight at all times? Or is it like, you know, just whatever angle you're staring at? Let me see. Oh, no, there's a front sight. All right. Okay. And can you rotate? Mm, oh, you can rotate. It tells you in the controller down there below Falcon. Rotate. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, uh, next time I'll pay attention. So yeah, rotating, is ba it works exactly like the spy unit. Okay. Other than the fact that you go up and down using the mouse. Oh, and there's the wind hazard up there, huh? I see. I see. Uh-huh. Ah, Sorry, drunk at the wheel here, what can I say? Oh, don't, don't do this first-person mode, please. Not right now. Uh-huh. Ah, that's it. All right, guys, cool. We're going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like if you want to see some more. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up here. But I've given you a little bit of a sneak peek at Robot Squad Simulator or the information for me down below. I will catch you next time.